Hi, let's talk about how to create SSAS project in the SQL Server Data Tools. So before going to create a, a project in the SQL Server Data Tools, it is a SQL Server Analysis project. So before going to create a project, first try to understand what are all the terms you may need to know. See, these are all the terms you need to know. What is a data source and what is a data source view, cube, dimension table, dimension, level, fact table, measure and schema. So these are all the mandatory terms in the SQL Server Analysis Services. So before going to create a project, you need to know what is data source and all the terms. Okay, first let me tell you what is a data <coughs> What is a data source? So data source is nothing but a connection string which will help you to connect to the SQL Server databases or any RDBMS databases. So data source is nothing but a connection string. Next, data source view. So data source view is nothing but a logical model of the schema used by the analysis services. Let us say you are going to use 10 tables out of 100 tables. So those 10 table details you need to provide in the data source view and how they are connected internally. So let us say if you are using only four tables and you need to specify those four tables and how they are connected those four tables. Logically, you need to specify in the data source view. Next, cube. So before going to the cube, let's go to the dimension or dimension table. So the dimension table contains the hierarchical data by which you would like to summarize the information. Let me repeat. So dimension table contains the hierarchical data by which you need to summarize the information. Next one is a measure. So measure is nothing but a numerical information. So again, it directly tagged to the dimensions. So each and every cube is going to contain one or more measures mandatorily. And it is a kind of the measure can be based on a column in the fact table. So these measures we are going to create in the fact table. Now the fact table contains the basic information that you are planning to summarize planning to summarize. So like uh, it's a kind of order information or payroll records or whatever it is. Next, schema. See, like if, if you talk about a schema, there are two major schemas in the analysis services or in the warehouse. So star schema and snowflake schema. So if you want a detailed uh, schema information, so let's watch the different uh, video in the playlist. So star schema and snowflake schema video. Yeah. Now let's go to the cube. So cube is nothing but a collection of all these data source views, dimensions, fact table, measures and schema. So now cube internally contains all these and it is a very basic unit and it's a mandatory in the SSAS project. So the cube is a collection of the data that has been aggregated to allow the queries to return the data quickly. Now the cube internally contains a compressed data. When you write a query on the top of the query, it, present, it returns the results very quickly, very quickly. So when you have a uh, 100 GB of uh, database, so if you built a cube on the top of the uh, 100 GB database, so now the cube size will be very, very less than the physical database size because it contains an aggregated compressed format. So these are all the terms we are going to use in the SSIAS project creation. Now, so let me go to, let me show you practically how to create a project. So let's go to the windows and click on the SQL Server data tools for Visual Studio. So I have a 2013. Yeah, so you'll be getting by default this window. So this is a place where you create all SSAS projects, all SSIS projects and all SSRS projects as well. 
if you see here so here you will be getting the recent projects you will be getting the recent projects which have been worked like a before these projects now let's go to the file click on new click on new project click on project if you see in the left side you will be having a business intelligence under that analysis service is selected and here so you need to select the analysis services multi-dimensional data mining project so because we are talking about a cubes that is the reason why you need to select the multi-dimensional model cube is nothing but a multi-dimensional model if you are talking about a tabular model then you need to select the analysis services tabular project so let's go to the multi-dimensional model select the top one and give the meaningful name SSAS examples I am giving the name you can give whatever the name you want let us say you are you are working with some finance related project you can give finance uh, something like that so you need to provide the location and the solution name so whatever the name you give here by default it comes as a solution name you can change if you want okay I will show you whatever the what is, is coming where it is coming the solution name I will show you let me click on okay okay so it is already existed if the project is already existed then you need to give a different name okay so let me give SSAS examples and some mm, let me give SSAS sample yeah so if the project name is already existed in the same folder it don't allow you to create so now I am giving a name as SSAS sample okay let me click on okay yeah so once you click on OK, it may take one or two seconds to create a project. If you see here, in the left side, you will be having a solution explorer. So this is a solution explorer which contains the project information, which contains the project information. If you see here, so this is the name of the solution you gave. This is the name of the solution. So if you want to change, you can change the solution name as well. If you give some XYZ there, you will be getting that XYZ here. So now the solution name and project name can be different also. But in my scenario, I gave solution name and project name both are the same. But in the real time scenario, it may be different. Solution name can be one and project name can be different. Okay, under the solution, I will be having a project with the name of SSA sample. One solution can contain multiple SSAS projects. So this is SSA sample. Now I, I can create another project under the same solution project 1, project 2, project 3, something that I can have hundreds of projects in a single solution. Yeah, now next. So under the SSA sample project, I will be having data sources, data source use, cubes, dimensions, mining structures, roles, assemblies and miscellaneous. We will talk about one by one folder in detail. So in this example, I will show you how to create a SSA cube, multidimensional cube. Now, first let me create a data source. Click on new data source. Yeah, click on next. Okay. Let me show you first. Yeah, yeah, click on new here. Here you will be giving a server name. My server name is dot slash SQL 2012. So if your server name is XYZ, let's put XYZ here. If your server name is ABC, let's type the ABC here. Okay. Server name is this. And database name, I am my database name is AdventureWorks. So Microsoft has provided so two free databases for us to work with it. So one is AdventureWorks normal database, the other one is a AdventureWorks data warehouse. Okay, so I have selected AdventureWorks data warehouse. In my example, I am going to show you the cube on the top of the AdventureWorks data warehouse 2012. Let's click on test connection. You can validate the connection here itself. Click on test connection, click on OK, click on OK, OK, click on next. Yeah, so what is the uh, um, uh, impersonation information you want to go with it? Let me go with the credentials of a current user. So we'll talk about what is the impersonation and all in the later video. Let's not uh, go with a different topic. Let's click on next. So it, it asks for the name. So by default, it comes with a so database name only let's click on finish i'm okay with it. that name now so here i provided only the database name in the next level i need to say what are all the tables i am going to use in the cube 
let's click on the right click on the data source view click on new data source view click on next yeah this is the data source has been provided here if you see the name click on next what are all the tables you need for the cube you need to provide here you need to provide here this is a table list here i'll be selecting a dim customer okay you, you can filter even here as well and next is a dim product next is a dim date a dim date see i can directly click on add related tables but i don't want to take all the tables i want to help i want to tell you i want to explain some scenarios that's the reason why i'm taking specific tables click on next yeah here it asks for the data source name data source view name as well i want to go with the same name click on finish if you see here it may take a while to create let me see the dim customer is not directly linked to the fact okay let me change it one second So yeah, let it be. Uh, it's not a problem. Let me add one more table. Yeah. So let me take the fact uh, resellers. Let me take the fact. Uh, yeah. Internet sales. Next. Okay. Click on OK. Yeah. Now if you see, so these. tables are connected i just want to show you the connection that is the reason why i have taken this table okay so now if you see let me maximize it so that yeah let me make it a bigger tables okay now let me make it as a bigger ones so that yeah so now if you see let me take this is to the top so that uh, viewing is a little easy okay now if you see this so this uh, this fact table is directly linked to the dimension tables so this is what is called as a star schema so if the fact table is directly linked to that all the dimension tables then that is nothing but a star schema let me show you the snowflake schema as well let me right click here so <clears throat> add or remove the tables so there let me add a product sub query product sub category click on okay now if you see here this product sub query sorry product sub category is linked to the dim product it is not directly this table is not directly linked to the fact internet sales so that is the reason why we are going to call it as a we are going to call it as a snowflake schema this is nothing but a snowflake schema so now this is how we create a data source view if you see the extensions here dot ds is exchange for data source dot dsv is exchange for data source view now let me right click on the cubes let me create a new cube okay so you see till now we created only data source and data source view now we are planning to create a cube as well let me click on next here it will ask you like a so how would you like to create the cube do you want to use existing tables or you want to create empty cube or do you want to select the tables here or template i want to use existing tables which are already there in the data source view let me click on next do you want to use all the tables i can you see it will ask you at least one major group table must be selected let me click on suggest or it automatically selects the i can select the fact because fact table itself contains measures if you click on suggest or it automatically selects the fact internet sales let me click on next yeah so these are all the measures i have if you see i have around 10 plus measures click on next if you see these are all the dimensions i have these many dimensions click on next you want to give any meaningful name for the cube or you want to go with a database name it's up to us so provide the meaningful name to the cube click on finish so once you click on finish it may take a while to create a cube 
so now if you see so these are all the cube this is a cube creation if you see this is the tables and all now you have two sections in the left side top section is for measures bottom section is for dimensions let me expand this so these many are the measures means we, what we talked about is so at least one measure is needed for a cube so without measure there is no cube and at least one dimension required for a cube without dimension there is no cube measures and dimensions are mandatory or at least minimum one require so if you see here you have a many tabs first one is the cube structure dimension usage calculations kpis actions partitions aggregations perspectives translations and browser the browser is the one which will help us to observe the output of a cube so other tabs we'll talk about in the next videos this is how we create the cube in the ssas project so that's it for this video so thank you for watching if you like our videos subscribe to training to spl space msbi videos and please provide a valuable feedback thank you for watching